just around the corner and Class 3E is doing everything in their power to not only pass, but to change the very foundation of their school. And they're going to run into some big problems because they're going to have to contend with Class A, which is led by the Big Five. Their leader is Gakushu Asano, otherwise known as the only son of Principal Asano. This group of villains that they introduced in this week's episode, the Big Five, are essentially the Ginyu Force of this series. The only difference is they're not posing and they're not being badass, but they're just as intimidating and ridiculous and over the top. This week's episode was a very nice build up to the finals of this series. I really can't wait to see what they're going to do with it from here because there's a lot of interesting intrigue in this episode. In particular, this new character who's just been introduced, Gakushu. And Gakushu is interesting because he actually doesn't just want to defeat Class 3E and basically establish more autonomous order in this school, but he actually wants to figure out what the secret is with Class 3E. He figures something's up here with his father, how he's been spending a lot of time with Class 3E, giving them special attention, and of course hearing all the rumors of a big yellow flying octopus flying through the streets, sneaking up on big-breasted co-ed students, and even buying up all of the snacks from the local mini-mart. He knows something is up. And that scene that he had with his father when he confronted him about that was amazingly tense and really funny and over the top. Not only did he kick a soccer ball right into his dad's face, who stopped it with his bare hands, but just the overall atmosphere of that scene was absolutely hilarious. I love whenever Principal Asano is around. They have this real creepy, ominous organ music playing, and I love how pompous both of these characters are, and the fact that even their laughter is just causing the windows to crack. It's hilarious. The big conflict of this episode is that Class 3E and Class A are in the middle of a competition where if one of the teams actually ends up winning and getting the highest score, they can make a big demand. Class 3E is going to try and basically change the very foundations of the school and allow them to have some more perks. Whereas you have Class A, who has something bigger in mind, and that's because of Gakushu. He comes up with this plan where they're going to have all of these different, like, clauses and rules that they can lay down on Class 3E, and one of them is that they can ask them anything and they have to answer truthfully. And that could involve Koro-sensei. Gakushu really wants to learn really what's going on with Koro-sensei and why Class 3E is getting all of this attention. Maybe it's because he wants more attention from his father. Maybe he's been pushed beyond the brink. All I know is this character is creepy, ridiculous, very much like his father, and his overall appearance kind of reminds me of Karma Akabane. What with the red hair and the creepy eyes. But really, I cannot wait to see what's going to happen through this exam. They really made it intense. At the very end of the episode when Nagisa is taking the test, they do a really great job of personifying how he actually fears this test and what it feels like to him. For him, he's going into battle. It actually feels like he's in the middle of this massive arena and fighting against this giant conundrum beast of sorts. It's pretty freaking awesome. So what's the rundown? On this week's episode of Assassination Classroom, Kayana was not studying, she was just reading about pudding. Yep. This episode was a lot of fun. There were so many ridiculous quirky moments throughout this entire episode that go by in like an instant. I love the scene where Koro Sensei is eating Pop Rocks, except that they're called Pop Ox, as in Pop Octopus. The scene where they're studying in the library was great because when the Big Five came in and started bullying them, not only did they challenge them, but we actually got to see how badass Class 3E is. Whenever they mention putting their lives on the line, they immediately go into assassin mode. And that was really awesome how they tricked all of them and basically made all of them piss their pants. The big star of this week's episode is definitely Gakushu. He is a really awesome character. He's so intimidating and creepy. Gakushu is not only a terrifying student who's going to do everything in his power to keep the autonomy of the school in place, but he's also trying to figure out the secrets of Class 3E, which I think is pretty creepy. And obviously, Koro-sensei needs to be more careful. People are clearly seeing him and if there's all these reports of him just appearing all over the place. So I can't wait to see how that's going to unfold as well. Otherwise, this was a good episode with a ton of funny moments. It was a huge build-up to the big final exam. Kunadon, the weird mascot of the school, made another appearance at the very beginning. He's incredibly passive-aggressive and very funny. This episode was great. So many great moments, so many funny moments. That dude getting the two pencils up his nose at the end from Ryo was awesome. So many great moments. Ritsu's weird stand-in at the end of the classroom, who didn't even look male or female, some sort of weird combination of the two. This was just a funny episode of Assassination Classroom, which you should definitely check out if you've been following the anime version 
or if you've been reading the manga version. And get pumped up, season two is going to be coming in 2016, and I think that's awesome because this show is just infectiously fun and really, really hilarious. So check it out, anime fans. I'm giving this week's episode a four out of five. I thought it was pretty awesome. But what about you guys? What did you think about this week's episode of Assassination Classroom? What did you think about the introduction of the Big Five? Do you think Class 3E is going to pull through in the final exams? What do you think is going to happen in the rest of the show? And what's the deal with Koro Sensei? Is he really going to destroy the planet? What's his deal? Please tell me in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching my review. Make sure to like it and share it with all of your friends. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow us on social media and make sure to check out our brand new video podcast show. It's pretty freaking awesome. Thank you guys again for watching and as always, stay dandy, baby.